them. So this is how the creek is looking right now. It's actually up a little bit. So if you are new here, this is the creek that runs behind our house. Oh my goodness, this is definitely our favorite thing about living here. The scenery is actually just stunning. Um, it's so beautiful. So this is our first full year here. We moved here this time last year. Um, this coming week, I think, would be about the time. And the creek was so high when we moved here. It was crazy. Um, but yeah. Oh, you guys, it's so beautiful. I can't wait for spring and summer again. And this yard just absolutely comes alive. Um, but yeah. It's a cold day today, but absolutely stunning and beautiful. And the sun is shining. Look at that sky. It's a good day to count your blessings. <laughs> For sure. Any day is a good day to count your blessings, but it is a stunning day today. walk it is very cold it is 25 degrees currently and one of the creeks in the park beside our house is starting to freeze over but nice to see that we have a little bit of running water we pretty much had a drought all year last year so nice to see a little bit of water in the creek it looks so beautiful children's activities at church tonight and it's just kind of a long night for her so that way it kind of get her nice and wore out <laughs> before this evening but whew, this is cold y'all I think we're supposed to have a warm spell here for a couple days but we've had a couple really cold days um, this week today included today um, it's probably not exactly the way I'm going to keep it but it is a work in progress that is my China hutch so I really feel like I have never had an aesthetic that I liked for like year-round I really liked what I had for Christmas um, but I wanted something that I could just use anytime so instead of going shopping I shopped my home and this is what I came up with um, I'm sure that over time it will change a little bit, but I thought I would show you guys what I have on here and some of my pieces and a few things that I'm looking for to kind of fill in some gaps and to replace things that I pulled in other places in my home. 
but I just thought I would quickly show you guys what I did and maybe it would inspire you or give you some ideas as well. It being a china hutch and being in our dining room, I wanted to display some of my china. I have some of my actual Linux china. This is called Autumn Legacy. It's a very, very old pattern. Um, I believe I have a six place setting as well as some of the serving dishes. So I wanted to um, put part of that out. So I have my coffee pot and then two sets of two um, of the teacups. I have the dinner plates and then I also have the soup bowls or salad bowls as well. So that is some of the dishes that I wanted to um, include in this as well as some of my ironstone. I actually have two different sets. So I have this set, which does not have any markings on it. And then I also have this set, which is marked Shakespeare Country, made in the USA. Um, but they're all very, very similar. So I just have a few pieces of that. And then I also have a few pieces of this one as well. So that's just something that I love. I love it year round. I love the blue color. I think it's really, really beautiful. I used this basket in the back kind of as a plate uh, hanger or plate stand. There is a little bit of a space here between the wall and the end of the glass. So putting um, any plates or anything close to the edge is very dangerous and you could easily lose one um, through the back. So. That's kind of what I did. It's very, very snug in here. So I don't look for it to go anywhere. So those are just a couple different um, dishes that I'm displaying. So I'm gonna go through and show you all the other pieces. Starting from the top, I do have my one large cake stand with a dome. I also have some plates. I forgot about showing you these. These are from the taverns at Williamsburg, Virginia love them so much i actually bought these second hand and i have seen them in stores um, but i found them second hand and that was super exciting this is a pottery piece from all wine pottery in the smoky mountains it's just absolutely gorgeous the blue color i love it love it love it and i don't know if i mentioned but it is a butter dip and then of course i mentioned my coffee pot and my teacups that go with my linux um china set this is a teapot. My brother bought it for me many, many years ago. It's really, really special and just excited to have a place to um, show that. Here is a little homemade preserve jar. This is actually from Pottery Barn. It's just a replica um, and I love it. It's beautiful with some fake lemon balm. That is actually from Hobby Lobby. And then I also have this really pretty basket. This is just a ceramic basket. Um, that my mom bought me. I actually pulled this from somewhere else in my home. I just really love the texture and wanted to share that. Um, I already showed you my ironstone. These are some really pretty um, serving forks. They look antique, but they're actually from uh, Magnolia um, from Target. I do not believe they sell them. They may have something similar. I'm not sure but my sister bought me these. I love them so much. They are so beautiful and great when you're having parties just to grab for like charcuterie boards or um, anything like that. Um, this stand is actually from Hobby Lobby. I got it in the fall line. Um, it was actually on clearance, super cheap when they have the 70% off. So that is just a simple stand that I can use to put things on. This is a little rosemary plant that is also hearth in hand, I believe from two years ago from Target. And I pulled this from somewhere else in my home, but I know they have similar things, but just love that and love the um, faux clay pot. And then down here, this is a bead garland that I made with um, our Sunday school class for um, our camp this year. So I love just playing that. It reminds me of them. This is just like a faux vintage vase. I really love that and the blue pattern. I just have our little candy dish here. Um, this really beautiful cutting board with the music on it. Um, and then this home sweet home sign that is from Hobby Lobby, a vintage ball jar, the blue um, ball jars. I love them so much. This is also just a really simple little tabletop um, vase from Target with just a stem in it. Love that 
So I put that there and then I have a nice little lamp and then a cookbook. This is the Joy of Cooking cookbook. I got that for Christmas from my sister a couple years ago. Love it so much. Um, if you need one cookbook in your life, that is the one. It basically can take the place of Google <laughs> if you need to know how to make something. So yeah, that is what I have so far. Like I said, that might change a hundred times, but it's a good start and I'm excited to see how it evolves over time. So hopefully that can give you guys some inspiration if you're looking to try to rearrange an area of your home and you're not pleased with it, just start and play with it and just let it evolve over time. And it's really, really fun to shop your home and find new ways to put out things that you already have and to share things that you've been wanting to share in your decor. So just a little inspiration for you guys.